Madonna Records. Connor Television. Uh, are you still doing that? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, when, when did you want to do that? Now? Uh, alright. Uh, I'll head over there. Alright. Yep. So ladies and gentlemen, if you look right over here, we see a great picture of the Million Dollar Quartet, a jam session that happened December 4th, 1956. Jerry Lee Lewis from Faraday, Louisiana in the top left. You got Carl Perkins in the middle with the black shirt on. Johnny Cash in the top right. And they're seated at the Hello. piano. Of course, the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. This was a shot taken during Elvis's first stab at veganism. It didn't last long. He had a barbecue sandwich the very next day. If you look right over here, we see a picture of I don't, I don't know exactly what to tell you. We, we are still missing our fearless uh, host, Maestro uh, Billups. I, I, he's he's got to be here soon, so just hang, hang with us for just a second. Midtown, Memphis, Tennessee. So glad you found me. You're still doing things that I gave up years ago. Whoa, 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 you keep hanging around me and I'm not. So glad you found me. You're still doing things I gave up years ago. How you doing, Lamplighter? Midtown Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, I'm glad we got a nice place in Midtown to do this. We don't want to be downtown for too long. I, I hadn't been mugged in a while, so I went downtown to see what was going on, walk around a little bit. I tell you, the tourists are getting terrible down there. They are unattractive, too. Two of them came up to me and said, uh, you guys still have a mandate, mask mandate here in Memphis? I said, yeah, a Halloween mask mandate, if you would. Just cover your face from top to here to here. And over here, that would help us out a lot. Oh, they were dumb as shit, too. One of them said to me, where is Sun? So I pointed him to Union Avenue, told him where they could see Sun Studios. The other one looked at me and said, hey, why not in the sky? That too intellectual a joke for this crowd? I'm sorry. I'll try to dumb it down a little bit. <laughs> we got a great show for you here tonight at the Lamplighter. We got the Archaeus live. 
from Louisville, Kentucky. We got an interview with Richard Evans from Total Punk. We got music videos from Total Punk, Slavin Lee, and Trouble in Mind Records. Live videos and as much fun as we can have on a Friday around this time in the evening. So let's go first. Oh, first, our first video tonight is going to be from Total, uh, the Midnight Snacks. Are we going to roll that right now? Let's do it. Here we go, our Midnight Snacks video. Thank you. Oh, it says, hello? Hey. Hey, here we are at the world famous, uh-oh, they bottomed out hard. We're at the world famous Lamp Lighter Lounge in Memphis, Tennessee. Hey, if you've ever been to Memphis and had a good time before, you've been to the Lamp Lighter Lounge. So let's get inside. I'm running a little late. Y'all have to bear with me. Had to take care of some stuff at the house. I didn't get to eat before I came up here. Let's get in the bar. How are we doing? Hey, friends. We got Charles Bronson on the wall. Y'all know the lamp lighter. And here we have the Arcaeus. How are y'all doing? Y'all ready to rock? I can tell. I can tell. I can really tell. Let's get over here to the bar. Hey, how are we doing? Oh, shit. What's up with the sword? What's that say? Do not serve this man. Is that me? <laughs> I did. <laughs> hey, we're back. He won't serve me. I'm coming in here anyway. Sorry about that. It's been a rough ride ever since I left work this afternoon. Let's get in here. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? We in there? Hey. Yeah, there we are. We're up on the screen right now. Uh, Bill, I'm so glad to be in here. What did you do this week? Anything interesting going racing, on? No, but I was late because I got off work and I wanted to shave my back before I came in, but I had, didn't get to eat anything and I got some pizza on the way and I just ran late. Well, we appreciate, Sorry. We appreciate the effort. No problem, man. Uh, well, <laughs> did you end up shaving your back or not? Uh, man, after I saw sense. the episode where you were naked eating grapes and then I said on top of that we got a band down here from Kentucky, I better step it up, get some clean lines. I got a tiger on my back tonight. You want to know? You want to know what I what I did this week? Aren't you going to ask me since I asked you? We talked on the phone twice. I know that once, once. I also saw Speed too with Sandra Bullock. Is that the one where they're on the bus that's out of control? No, this is the second one where they are on a boat that's out of control. 
So it's the same thing. Uh, no, this one's on a boat. That's like the one with Kevin Costner where he looks like Mad Max. Yeah, kind of. There were a lot of maritime emergencies. Is this something we could do? At, hey, let me ask you something. You're welcome to. I've been to a movie with Billups. Yeah. And I love Billups sees a movie. So can we expect one of these about speed too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do one of those for sure. Cool. We'll okay. do a maritime reenactment of that. All cool. right, you're going to introduce the band, aren't you? I'm just here to hang with you, bro. But it says on this piece of paper, actually, that you introduced the band. Oh, where's the paper? All right, live on Goner TV tonight, all the way from Louisville, Kentucky, we've got the Archaea. Let's go. 
new ones for you. Here's some old ones. Last night I smashed out a TV After emerging from the feet Those grab a booze they stay on my Those generations lost in time What is the last What are the last words you will see? If I am coming, that part of me Why would your sound born in the rain? Through dissolution holds my flame Lightning or striking swords collide Open your mind It's the last thing you'll see Before you complete the bottom of you What are the last words you'll see? Complete. 
All right. Yes, that was David Nance. That was David, Lan David Nance, mm -hmm. my love, The Dark and I. That's a great record. And Mike McGonigal did a great write-up on that record, and that song specifically. But that's a, gr that's a great record and a great video right there. That was a nice video. I enjoyed the video quite a lot. And Archaic. The Archaics are coming back up. It's you know, close to some rock music. Before that, though, I wanted to ask you, you, you know, I had, a, I had an idea today for a new app. You seem like the kind of guy that would be able to and would enjoy a new app idea. Roll a joint with a new app? No, like an app for your phone. Like, did you? What did you just say? You know, like with well, the things you use on your phone. Like, I what found. Did, did you I, say, well, what would you say about the app? Though you said I look. I like thought you. Would, I thought you would enjoy. Oh, enjoy hearing about it. App. Maybe you could help me figure it I've out. I've had. I've had a couple apps on my phone, and I've pressed on them and done stuff, but I don't know a lot about them. Well, I, I found a need today. One is that some in my office, the bathroom is between two of my boss's desks, right? So I thought we could develop an app that makes acceptable noise for you to put up against the door. So when people are listening, when people hear the bathroom, they hear better things than what you uh, might be doing. You, like, work, you work at Goner, right? Yeah. So, so like, who's listening to you take a no, shit? Nobody is listening. But if you feel, I, mean, I know there are people in here that feel self-conscious about right this, right? Zach's right over here and Alex over here. Somebody is not out this there. Out. Listen, I've got it. There's three levels, right? One is, one is busted fan. So you turn on your phone, and it makes it sound like a busted fan. That's a great idea. I'm serious. That's a great idea. What's a busted it? fan sound like? Just like you did just oh. now. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And that way, they don't know what's going on. If you feel like you need to push the envelope a little bit, the second level would be something like two people talking and running the sink. Or maybe arguing about oh, shit. Sure. Right? Sure. Just talk. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why I keep trying to imitate what you're saying, but go ahead. Uh, well, you're doing a great job of it. Thanks. And then the third level, in my, I think, would be great, would just be a tornado alarm. So everybody leaves the building <laughs> entirely. I can't, I'm not going to try that. Well, anymore, you do yeah. your best with that. The problem is going to be boosting your phone to that level. But. but what are you afraid of them hearing you do in the bathroom? I don't know. It's just, uh, doesn't anybody else in this in this room work in an office where the bathroom is too close to your boss's desk? See that lady over there at the back said so. Somebody raised their hand. Somebody said, "I feel your pain." See, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. I'm not alone in this. No. Well, we got better things to talk about anyway. Never alone. Uh, why don't you tell them what's about to happen? I think we're about to hear more Archaea's we fucking are. shredding, right? Is that what you guys into that idea right there? Applause! Hey, let's give it up for Sarah Mosley and our applause meter!
out to Rich on this next one.
thank you for the arcades. Non-commercial radio station here in Memphis, Tennessee, broadcasting from the Crosstown Concourse, and you can listen to us online at wyxr.org. We got a lot of great shows, like Goner's Own, Cole Wheeler, and Zach Ives, along with uh, other great DJs. Uh, you can check out our schedule at wyxr.org, and there's a lot of other great stuff happening. Tell them about it, Jared. Hello everyone out there in TV land. My name is Jared Papa Bear Boyd and you're here with us at WYXR 91.7 FM. If you don't have an FM tuner, you can listen to us on WYXR.org. It's a pretty cool experience. It might be even better. You know, when I was a little boy, I thought that I would grow up to be a radio host. Turns out, I grew up and I had to start running a radio station. Here's one of our really <laughs> famous personalities who's on the air. This is a really cool radio station because you can come here, drink beer, play a few music songs, and leave. Go home. And no one pays you. So, if you're interested in a few drunken songs and a few disgruntled volunteers, you're in the perfect place. I stand by that. Hope you're listening at home and please donate to our efforts. Thanks to Ghana for having us on. 91.7 WYXR Memphis, Tennessee, the newest radio station in town. Join us. That's right, WYXR.org. Go there and hit that donate button and listen to some wonderful tunes. All right, we're here with the Arkeas right now. That was a killer set, Arkeas. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Felt good. Felt good. That was great. Thank you for coming down here. That is the second appearance for the Arkeas on Goner TV, and they have an LP that came out last year, and you're going to want to pick that up if you haven't. If you haven't, ask yourself why. Ask so, yourself why. So what's going on with the Arkeas? I know the world is in a weird fucking, we're in a weird position right now, going through a weird phase, but this is going to pass, and you know it will. So what's next for the Arkeas? Um, we're hoping our next record cures COVID. That would be rad. Um, that's currently underway. It takes a little longer with uh, added complications like that, but so soon. Where, where are you recording that record? This is our this is our engineer right here. Chip, hey, can we get it? Can we get an introduction from everybody? The, okay, okay. I'm Violet Arkea. This is Chip Crosby Arkea, and this is Chase Palmer Arkea. Yeah. All right. Y'all give it up for the Arkeas. So y'all are working on a new record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Since mostly it's mostly it's mostly ready. We're just you know we got to get it like put into digital space and all that. We heard a little nonsense. bit of that tonight in the first set, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first two songs are are a few are are a taste. Goner Fest should be like a pretty fresh, a, a, a chomp, more than just a, a taste. hard chomp. Hell yeah! <laughs> Looking forward to it. Sound, the new stuff sounds great, and the tracks from the record sound great. So, all right, so we're working on a new record, and uh, what's going on in Louisville right now besides everything else that's going on in the world? Well, like, uh, there's a lot of, like, venues shuffling around uh, because a lot of the places naturally um, actually, like, transferred, you know, their business to something else. We had a, we had a venue that we played out a lot that turned into, like, a, kind of like a grocery store and stuff, so... The music just, venue is now selling well, broccoli. Well, they had to make it. Well, yeah. Eh, not fresh produce, you know, but... <laughs> Um, so, but King there's, Dongs. there's this, yeah, totally. There's this sick uh, new venue in in Portland, in Louisville, the neighborhood Portland, Louisville called Portal, where where Chase works. Shout out Portland, I work there. So Portal is the new spot in Louisville. Yeah, Portal's sick. It can hold a lot of people, but the but nice. the stage is like 
it, it's 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 not obnoxious like these right. places tend to have where they put you like five feet. So in when air. you play your feet so on it, somebody's so you, head. Yeah, yeah. So you can still like mess someone up in the front row, but like take care of business. Exactly. Yeah. But you know you can you can keep your six feet too because there's plenty of room. Right. Okay. So you that's awesome. So portal is the new spot. Yeah. 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 We we'll have to come through there. And so is. Are y'all doing anything else? Anybody else involved in other bands? Anything like that? We got Kids Born Wrong over here, Chase. Yeah, I got Kids Born Wrong. Uh, rock and roll band. Full length coming out on vinyl at What's for Breakfast Records later on in the year. Kids Born Wrong on Yeehaw. What's for Breakfast. All right. Yeah. yeah. The RKS is one of four bands that I play in. We also got Die Job on the way. We also got Viva Melancholia on the way. We also got Daddy on the way. And more RKS coming soon. You've got and you've got the recording studio. Yeah. Yeah. Chips of Chips an engineer, no joke. Right on. He's right got on. a hard hat for the studio. You got to if you're yeah. an engineer. All right. Yeah. Well, that's all good stuff. Thank you, come for coming back down to Memphis. This is home. Always. For being on Goner TV. Let me ask you, what's your favorite video game? Oh. <laughs> I thought you wanted to end the interview now. Oh, <laughs> I just got started. Oh. Um. Current. That's so difficult. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, 2007 Halo 3 multiplayer. Uh, <laughs> 1111 11, 11, Skyrim. Always. Mortal Kombat 2 on the Sega Genesis, but only when my parents aren't watching. Oh, God. Um, yeah. He already said Skyrim, but I've been playing the hell out of this game called Dead Cells. It's like an indie, an indie game. It was made by like two people. Good. Oh, it's rad. Yeah, if you like Castlevania, it's like it's like infinite Castlevania. Dude, I'm pushing 50. I have no clue. But y'all give it up for the Archaeas, man. All the way from Louisville, Kentucky. Beautiful. Cut. Oh, that was quick. We are back. Let's have another hand for the Archaeus, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? Yeah! We got some more good stuff coming up. Uh, we got an interview with Rich Evans, a total punk, coming up here in a second. How do you feel about that? Looking forward to yeah, it. Hey, Rich, what's going on, brother? Remember that hotel in St. Augustine? You remember that, Alec? And a lot of Madden, Madden three, a lot of Madden three in Orlando, and the hotel in St. Augustine. Let's do it. Let's run that interview then. Rich Evans. From All Total right, Punk. we're here with uh, the Total Punks, Rich Evans. Uh, how's it going, Rich? Pretty good. How about you? Good. Uh, looking forward to some uh, new releases on uh, Total Punk. Uh, uh, yeah, heavy metal, especially. That's that's actually happening, right? Yeah, it's happening. They're, they're here now. Like, the pressing plant got them done a week earlier than the third time you told me they were going to get done. It was the <laughs> third time, though. So it's not like they got them done early all together. It was like, right. they're done. But just getting anything done right now seems like a major accomplishment with the, how everything is running. So that's oh great. Oh, my God. I know. And it's like, you know, because you'll think you understand what's delaying things. And then there's something that you've never thought of in your life. Like, right. was like, oh, well, when there was that snowstorm, the PVC supply line <laughs> right. in Texas was closed down. And there's PVC and records. So then that delayed. It's like everything. Right. And up next is Smirk. Is that is that the next thing? Hopefully it's coming down. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Smirk, um, They're supposed to press the first week of September. Like um, that one was supposed to be. The 21st, Cherry Cheeks is the guy, like the catalog number ahead of Smirk. Right? right. But Smirk is coming next, and then Cherry Cheeks should be out hopefully sometime in October. Cool. And Smirk's coming to Gonerfest. So uh, tell yeah. people how you found out about Smirk and uh, all that kind of jazz. He actually just emailed me, uh, Nick, and he's in like a, he, he's in that band Crisis Man and Public Eye and Cemento. He's in a bunch of bands. But he emailed me and asked if I wanted to do a seven inch. I'd heard the 
LP on Smur or on on Feel It, uh, and I like that. But then he just actually hit me up and asked if I wanted to do a seven inch. But I was like, I'm not doing seven inches anymore. But I'd be down to do. I love twelve inches, like just like a, you know, twelve EP, inch EP. Yeah. Is. Uh, so he sent me fourteen songs. They were all incredible. It's so nice when somebody like when you have extra stuff and you can actually like pick the track listing. Right. So this record was really fun. Like I'm really excited with how it came out. Like I've seen. I don't know if you've seen. There's like the video of them performing live. I haven't seen them live, obviously, um, but that video I saw has me really excited to see them live. It was like when I saw the Bits of Shit live video from the Tote in Australia. <laughs> I was like, I've got to see this band, which I never did, but we did play Goner Fest. I just wasn't at that one. They're amazing. Yeah, yeah it was. That's a, my biggest, it's one of my biggest Goner Fest misses. That's yeah. really one up there is not seeing bits of shit. I was, I was very surprised by bits of shit. I, the, the, the front man was. Uh, oh, he's like a teacher? Straight off of like the Royal Shakespeare Company. He was <laughs> amazing. The way he controlled the audience and every and acted out the the songs, it was it was fantastic. Uh, um, but yeah, so you know that's that that's how these things go. You got you got these things that you might never get to see again, like Smirk at Goner Fest. So um, everybody yeah. that's coming to Goner Fest, hopefully uh, looking forward to that. Um, it's gonna be online too, right? I just yeah, we're know. doing the whole thing. <laughs> we're we're doing we're doing instead of just doing one festival, we're doing two festivals. You know, uh, but we're going up to a wedding up in Washington, and some other goners are gonna be there. So uh, awesome! Yeah, Madison and Sarah are both gonna be there. Hello. Uh, so yeah. we're gonna be able to watch it all th four of us together, or five, because Della will be there as well. Uh, are Curly still coming for the after party? Is that happening? Yes, they are. The uh, Curly's Predator and Perverts Again slash New Cruelster slash <laughs> whatever they're called this week. They were right. like, whatever you want on the flyer. I feel we've confused people so much at this point that it doesn't matter. Cool. I think that's a B side on Saturday. Is that right? Yeah, it's Saturday night at B sides. Uh, yeah. and I, I talked to them and they're like doing. You know, mask and um, you have to show vaccination at the door, just like that. In there, I wish I brought my copy of that record to show you, but that's a very hot release from this year from Total Punk. They got a lot of good records coming out on that label, and the Smirk Records is one of my favorites. And they will be at Gonerfest 18, which is coming up in September. You won't want to miss that. You won't want to miss them at that event. Uh, and we got their whole video here. We're going to show the whole video coming up now. This is the video for that song they're talking about on Goner TV.
on down to the lamplighter. Nobody here, there's nothing to fear. Come on, order some lunch at the lamplighter. There's nothing to fear but my synthesizer. Hey, we're back. You were just watching the the uh, Spark video from Total Punk. I thought that was amazing. What did you guys think? That was a great video. A lot of good animation in there. Yeah. Uh, I love that album. If you guys get a chance, check it out. We're sitting here with Chuck and Laurel from the very lamplighter where we're sitting. This excellent bar that is... Uh, Hello. Well, we can't thank you enough for having us. Tell us what's been going on lately. I noticed in the ad it says you're doing streaming shows. What's the idea there? Well, this is one of them. Like this? Just like this? Well, I'm sure you, you have bands like uh, come and play on their own. How are you doing that? Very much like this? Well, for a little while, uh, we were almost back to regular shows. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, we, during the pandemic, like, we would have, like, no audience or very small audience shows and stream them. And it was really nice. Just to help people keep their shops shops low end. I, I yeah, I, I wanted to ask about that. I guess I just thought maybe you were tired of one more person asking what are you how is the COVID thing going, you know, but uh I guess we we should address that, right? Uh, I know that's been hard on bar and, and live venue owners specifically here in Memphis. You know, it's been really interesting because we've we've had to adapt in a lot of ways that we did not expect. So that was like, I wouldn't say it was a silver lining, but that was something that I think when we come out of it, we will be a lot like, I don't know, a lot stronger for it. You'll have a lot of new options anyway, huh? More menu items. More yeah. menu items. Because you be, have you been doing a lot of kitchen uh, experimenting with COVID going on? Yeah, so that's kind of been my baby. Um, I got into this because I wanted to start a cafe and coffee shop type thing, and Chuck had been managing the bar and getting music going here for like 10 plus years because he's awesome. And uh, <laughs> so it kind of it gave us like a reason to have to focus on food. And so our food's gotten a lot stronger because of it, and we got some really good bits. So if you guys want to try it, you should. Yeah, that's awesome. I tried to make a pickle pizza, but that didn't work out. Well, it, it would have worked out if he, I made homemade pickles, and he went and bought a jar of non-homemade pickles to put on his pickle pizza. It would have worked if he had used my homemade pickles. You didn't make enough. <laughs> that, does, that does sound like. I didn't make enough. That sounds like a rough combination. <laughs> well, check out the food. It has. So are you also doing, I'm sure you're doing carry-out, take-outs, too? Yeah, there's uh, the food apps you can get, or you can just call in. Um, how's that? Uh, we're doing a lot of mail order, you know. <laughs> I really, I like if you could, if you could mail order a pizza, that would be one thing. But we can't really do that. You have to rely on the Memphis community. So check out the website, and. Uh, can I tell uh, the first time I went to you sure can tell us about it. Uh, I don't know who it was, but uh, me and a couple friends went to Eric's attic and checked out some records, and uh, and there's Jay Wolf and. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really like how Come Along, uh, that's music in town, in the country even. So that's cool. yeah. Yeah. Definitely applause. Those guys have yeah. kept Garner going for quite a long time. 18, 18, 18. 
This is Goner Fest 18 coming up. Some great okay. bands going to be there, too. And I hope if you're out of town or you're in town, you'll check out the Lamplighter's new menu while you're, uh, you know, between bands or between blackouts, whatever kind of thing you do when you come to Memphis. We have um, really good food for hangovers. Food for hangovers. Well, anything else you'd like to talk about? I can't help but mention, uh, to notice, you brought a keyboard. Uh, that oh, makes, yeah. me, makes me think you want to use it for something. I, I, I just, it's kind of a, been a lately a therapeutic thing for me. Just like, I don't know, just, you know. Like, this makes me feel really good. Well, share it with the people. Keyboard attack. Keyboard attack. Keyboard attack. All right. All right. Cool. And you, uh, yeah. But, uh, uh, I'm playing here tomorrow night, plug. Uh, also, I really uh, appreciate Laurel being the best business partner ever. That's I what have. I was going to say about him, though. Aw. Couldn't, no. do, couldn't do it without her. Aw. Yeah. I mean, we couldn't do it without you. No, we, uh, yeah, I would like. <laughs> nice try, though. Nice, nice try. That was a move. Um, uh. So I just want to say that Chuck is fucking amazing with figuring out all the sound stuff and, like, figuring out all the venue stuff. And I don't know. I am lucky to have them. But I also want to say about Lamplighter um, that we've been having a lot of like really different kinds of events. And so I really appreciate this variety show coming here. And like we've been having drag shows and DJ shows and like all kinds of weird shit. So just keep checking us out. We're just going to keep getting weirder. And Chuck's going to keep playing his synthesizer for you. Oh. Okay, thank you. Unless uh, Thanks for talking. If, unless you have any other closing remarks, it leaves me to just say thank you very much for letting us have this here at the Lamplighter. This has been a great venue. I've had a great time here. I hope you all have too, the audience. <laughs> Two rooms. You do a lot of events in this room, and you got the hang bar next door, so there's all of that. And I guess it behooves me just to run down uh, all the thanks we have for this crazy episode uh for myself besides watching the archaeus play live it has been my pleasure to watch the monitor and see the amazing camera work done by the tech crew here tonight those guys really stepped up the goner tv uh concept and uh we thank them for that we're getting ready for them to be uh the crew at goner fest 18 and hopefully we're going to get a real nice stream out of that i hate using that word but you know that's what we're going to get uh, so that's it. Uh, send uh, some things I'd like to tell you is thanks to all the contributors, of course. Total Punk, Slovenly, Trouble in Mind, the RKS, remember? Drove here from Kentucky. <laughs> they were the band. You might remember them. Uh, we've got the camera team. I said that. And do send us your submissions because your weird videos and weird talents will go farther and farther to make this a weird show. Uh, my only regret for tonight is we didn't have any fire eaters or jugglers or anything weird. So if you, if you think you have a weird talent or you think your things are not up to stuff, uh, send them to us because it's probably better than we're used to getting. Uh, we would like to see what you want to do. Come on and do. Uh, we're going to try to do Goner Fest, and then <laughs> we're going to try to do Goner TV again in October on the 17th. Yeah. And that really is everything. Thanks again to you guys. Really appreciate the space and the participation. <laughs> the Lamplighter is a great bar. Come down here. Help us out with uh, keeping this place rolling during we don't even know what's going on, that the daily changes and the rules and, and what's going on. But... Uh, we're all just going to try to stay as a Memphis team. And that leaves me just to say good night. I guess we'll roll the credits. And thanks for coming out. Thanks to the audience, too, one more time. 
Thanks again. 